villages1.com. Where, man? Villages1.com. What you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. We're nearly 7% more likely to die on our birthday. For people age 60 and older, that jumps to 14%. Some fans get so close to characters that they mourn when the series or a main character gets the boot. Card readers that can be tinkered with in the dead of night are prime targets for card skimmers. So, never use your card at unmanned pay stations, gas pumps, ATMs, parking meters, or vending machines. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. All right, 11 minutes before 11 o'clock. We need a theme song, Robin, for our show with, with words in it. We need a song like that. Okay. Tom Kreitler so. is from the Money Pit. Every time he's on, I hear the song in my head. They call it the money, but <laughs> I know you need catchy. a you need a theme song with the words in it, and people will remember the name of your show. Tom Kreitler has been with us many times before. He's our go-to guy when we are trying to figure out what to do to make our homes maybe uh, more efficient or maybe smarter. And uh, it looks like doorbells of the future is one of the things he's going to talk to us about. Uh, hey, Tom. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It's great to be back with you both. Yeah, always good to have you on the phone. And uh, where are you? Are you in New York? I am. I am in New York today. It's a it's a warm day here, um, but uh, it's a beautiful day as well. We're still enjoying, you know, the back uh, of the summer season here in this part of the country. And you know, this is a time when a lot of people are on vacation. And you mentioned uh, that doorbell product. Why don't we start by talking about that? Um, I always thought it'd be nice if I had caller ID for my front door, so you knew who was coming up before you had to go answer the door. Yeah. And you <laughs> have that with the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. It basically gives you the ability to see, hear, and speak to whoever's coming up to your house. Uh, the way this product works is that uh, if you ring the doorbell, you're gonna get an alert, but even before that, you can set zones, so if somebody walks up to your house or in front of your house, you get an alert, they'll come up to your phone. Oh, really? See them, they do not see you, and so you can have a conversation. Now, if, a, if a UPS often will come to my house and and need a signature and knock because nobody's home and, and you know, you got to wait for them to come back. You know, sometimes uh, if they ring the doorbell, you could say, yeah, it's okay, I see you, just leave it. I, I'll, oh, I'll that's a great, th- I love that because I, don't you hate coming home and you find that thing on the door that no, and then you say, oh my they, gosh, now i got to drive over to the to the UPS office. Yeah, or wait for another delivery. You know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, the other side of that is that, you know, sometimes uh, when you have a burglar come up to your house, what do they do? They ring the doorbell, see if anybody's home, right? So I don't know. In this case, in do this they? case they ring the doorbell. <laughs> yeah, they want to find. They don't want to go on an occupied house, so they ring the doorbell, and half the time they'll make up a story about that they're lost, or can you give me directions to this, that, or the other place. But this prevents all of that. It really gives you control whether you are home or a thousand miles away on vacation. Ah, but you don't want to tell the bad guy you're you're on a vacation. You say, "Hey, I can't come to the door right now. I'm in my underwear." Yeah, you're, you're never, exactly, you're never going to uh, be able to, uh, to let him know that. Um, by the way, if you want to have, have some fun, you've got to go to their website, or I think it was their social media page. There's a video on there of a salesperson that just would not take no for an answer. And this poor lady was talking to him probably for five minutes trying to get rid of the guy. <laughs> he wanted to get a demonstration of his water treatment product. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, let's see, do, what were we talking about today? What was the general topic? Was it older homes? Just how you can take older homes and modernize them with tech technology like okay. that. So the Ring is one. Another one is the Decor Digital Dimmer. Have you ever tried to set the programming uh, feature of a timer? It, it's like you, you need a book to, yeah. do that, to try to figure it out. Well, this product is brilliant because it's a regular dimmer, the kind you install on your wall like any other light switch, um, but it's Bluetooth controlled so that basically once it's installed, you've got a lot of uh, things that you can do with it. Um, you can turn your lights on or off. You can adjust uh, the dimming feature of it. Uh, you can basically act- activate it within a 30-foot range. Uh, it's smart enough to know uh, when it's daylight savings time, so it'll automatically adjust for that or for sunrise and sunset. And you can also set it for randomized scheduled events, so that'll give your home the appearance of being occupied even when you're on vacation. Oh, wow. Okay. I see what, I see why that would, would play a role. Um, yeah. Somebody was telling me that some of them are, some lights are actually connected to... Uh, to Wi-Fi, and, and that can be a way for a hacker to, I guess, take a backdoor into your system. Is that right? You know, look, I mean, there's always going to be try- people trying to get in, but yeah. that's not reason to avoid this, this kind of technology. I mean, it's, it's, there's really a, a lot of things that you can do with it. Um, you know, there's a way that you can use this to manage your utility system uh, bills, by the way. Um, there's a new product out from Ream called the EcoSmart uh, the EcoNet smart home system is mm-hmm. available at Home Depot. It's exclusive room technology. And basically it allows you to manage your home's energy consumption uh, via your smartphone. Once it's installed, 
be your Econode enabled home uh, heating, cooling, or water saving equipment. You can customize settings, vacation settings, energy savings, temperature settings, whether you're home or away. And it can also send you alerts if anything needs to be addressed uh, diagnostically. And this way you can get that taken care of and make sure everything's always working in perfect shape. Really? Uh, kitchens are still the go to place when, when there are gatherings and things like that. Is there something new and exciting about kitchens? Yeah, if you're planning on designing your, your new dream kitchen, and all of us love these big open designs right now, usually you feel like you have to trade off between looks and performance. There's a new product out from Best called Katura, and it's a new groundbreaking downdraft that's so well designed it can pretty much pair with any cooktop appliance. The way this works is it sits flush with your countertop, and then it magically raises up about 18 inches, and it's beautiful. It looks great. Um, it works in just about any cooking configuration. It's one of the most effective downdrafts on the market, uh, but it's thin, it's sleek, and it's retractable, so you can have that open kitchen design without having the big bulky you know, range hood or, or island hood on top of it. It goes up to 18 inches, uh, and it's also uh, flexible enough that there's nine ducting options, so it'll work with smaller kitchens as well as larger kitchens as well. And if you want to make some repairs, this is the time of the year when a lot of us are doing little fix-ups around the house and you have to grab for a bottle of glue. Half the time it's dried out or it's messy. Yeah. Uh, there's a product out that solves that. It's called Bondic. And it's the world's first liquid plastic welding tool. So if you can imagine this, um, it's not a glue. It's actually better. It lays on top of the repair. So if you wanted to put two seams together, you would spread this over the top of it. And then you turn the applicator upside down. It's about the size of a marker. There's a built-in UV light. And you expose it to the UV light for four seconds, just four seconds, and it's hard, almost instantly. Wow. You're done. Wow. Like epoxy, but it gets hard with a light instead of with heat. Exactly. It's wow. Let I me mean, tell you what, I want, want, want one of these in my toolbox, in my car, and in my kitchen drawer, because there's always places that uh, you can use this on. Does, does having gadgets in your house uh, increase the value of your home? I think it does, especially the smart home um, products. Um, you know, I spent 20 years as a home inspector, and one of the things I used to tell the real estate agents that I work with is that if your client has a lot of energy efficient or smart home um, products in their house, it's great to make an inventory of that because, look, we talk about I got X number of bedrooms, X number of bathrooms. Wouldn't it be great if you said, you know, we have this efficiency of our heating system and we have this technology to manage it? Like those types of features, I think, really make your house stand out uh, when you're looking at all the competition in the neighborhood. And uh, do these features also go into the uh, um, garage unit? Yes, there are many features that go into the garage. Um, for example, um, what did I see recently? Ryobi has a, a garage door opener that is smartphone enabled. And if you ever have you ever left home and left your garage door opener and think, think oh shoot, I think I left the door open, I got to go home. Well, with your app, you could pull over, check the status, if it was open, you could hit a couple of buttons, and down it goes. Oh, really? So not wow. only will it close it, but it'll tell you if it's even open in the first place. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, that's great. Now, kids go back to school. They went back to school yesterday. I don't know what they're doing in New York right now, but anything for the children, the, the latchkey kids, as they call them, they don't have keys anymore, right? Yeah, the, the latchkey kids. I'll tell you what, um, there's a, a camera <clears throat> out that I like called Canary, and what I like about it is it's motion activated. So we have these in our home, and when uh, somebody comes into the house, um, if it's not you or your wife, because it has like a GPS kind of monitor, it knows when you're home and when you're not, um, it will send you an alert. So when the kids come in, you would get a canary alert that said there was a motion event at your house. You open up your smartphone, and there you can watch the kids uh, hopefully sitting at the kitchen table doing wow. what you told them to do. Right? Do, you have, do you have all of this stuff in your, in your own home? Is your, is your pocket buzzing all the time? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? It's, it's really tempting, but i got to choose my products carefully. And... Uh, yeah, but I have an 1886 house. I got a really old house, so I'm always I'm always having fun when I put these things in. I've got a couple of the Nest thermostats in um, that I like because uh, they just added geofencing, so now it knows when I'm home and when I'm not. When I'm not, it, it puts everything into vacation mode. So even if I'm gone for eight hours, it drops the temperature on the air conditioner. Really? You know, I could do anything on on the heating system in the winter. And tell you what, it adds up over time. You think about it. I bet. Every time you get out of your house, you don't reset your your uh, your thermostat. This does it for you. It knows when my phone leaves the house. It knows that and changes the temperature. That is cool. And th th I don't know if you said water heater. Does it does it turn off the water heater? Well, the the um, the Ream EcoNet system um, actually uh, is able to work with Nest. So they talk to each other. And you're right. If I left uh, and I had the EcoNet enabled water heater, 
it would also drop the temperature on the water heater. Another way to save money. I see. Okay, T- just drop the temperature. Uh, Tom Kreitler, always uh, uh, great to have you on the show. And uh, if you're ever in Central Florida, we'd love to have you in the studio. Thank you so much. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Uh, the Money Pit. Let's see. Do you want to leave us with a website so we can look at, at the information you just gave us? Yeah, moneypit.com is our website. Uh, your listeners are also welcome to call our radio show at 888-MONEYPIT if they've got home improvement questions. All right. Uh, and uh, thank you for being on the air with us. And, and uh, come back anytime, as always. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, Tom. All right. We will be right back. This is The Source, WOCA. <laughs> Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA Ocala.